Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. We are on the server with just one other at the moment. It's pretty quiet. Now, I thought I would have a look at some things we could craft, and I thought I'd go through this creative section here. Um, I discovered a few things. One thing is, I discovered that there's a Bpedia, which um, you use it on a B to see its information. That sounds pretty cool, so we'll probably make one of these soon. It just needs a, a bottle of honey. Um, some iron, glass, all that kind of stuff. And then I was looking through again, ch checking all these recipes, seeing like what we could craft, what we couldn't craft, that sort of thing. And I came across this. A creative energy cell. And it's craftable. Right? Um, it costs the same amount of energy as this controller did. But I think this provides power to different mods as well. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of want to make it. Now, I don't know if we'll use it, because if it is just a creative energy source, like infinite power, that would be cheatsy. So, there's a chance we don't use this, but I still want to make it to see what it's about. Um, because these energy cells, for instance, they store power. They don't create power. So, it's possible that all this does is just like an infinite storage for power, which, in that case, we might use it, because that sounds pretty cool. But yeah, but I just want to check it out, because I'm sure some people at home might be interested in this. And it it's from Applied Energistics, which we haven't even gotten into, because we've been playing around with um refined storage. So, it'll be interesting to, I guess, make a few of these things. Ooh, we would need an inscriber. Hmm, we could do that. That seems fine. I'm just going through, like, these recipes, seeing what we need. Um, the problem, I guess, would be these presses. I don't recall if we have these. Let's search press. No, the answer is no. Um, and my issue is, I'm pretty sure these spawn in meteors, right? Um, yeah, they're found in the center of meteorites. The problem is this world now has a border on it, right? So, so it only goes a certain distance. I think it's still pretty big. Oh, look at all these bases. These are all people's different bases. Oh my God. This is awesome. That's really cool. Just, sorry, I, I haven't looked at that in a long time. Um, let's try this out. Let's get a meteorite uh, compass because there might be some near us. What's a, what's it called? This. Meteorite compass. And I guess there's a meteorite this way. Oh. Okay. It's bugging out a little bit. Hmm. Okay. I, I think it's fine. Maybe it's just to stop you from traveling insanely fast. And, like, destroying a server with world gen. Ooh, okay, it's spinning like crazy. Does that mean it's below us? Huh? Hmm. I don't... I don't know. I feel like that's what it's saying. There also seems to be a, a sunken village here. Yeah, it seems to be going crazy in this location. Let's maybe check this out a bit. Hopefully I don't drown. Alrighty, I've gone ahead and dug a massive hole um, straight down to bedrock. I was just vein mining as I went. Um, and I don't think I ran into any meteorites. Um, soap? Soapstone? I don't think that's a meteorite. We can look around a little bit, because it, it does have quite a bit of a radius to it. Like, we seem to be able to go pretty far this direction. Hmm, this might be a bit of a task to find these meteorites. Normally they're on the surface, though, so... What we could do, and yeah, this is this is the top. Yeah, what, what we could do is just travel far enough that it picks up another meteorite, and then we can look for that, because, I mean, I, I don't see any meteorite here, so I, I think we're out of luck. Oh, okay. We seem to have picked up a different source, I think. Um, apparently in this direction. Hopefully not above the water this time. Or at least if it's above the water, hopefully it's a, an actual meteorite site. Um, so I guess I'll keep traveling this way until I find it. Oh, it is going absolutely crazy right here. Um, and I'm also getting a little bit of lag. I don't know what's going on. Like, frame rate lag. There's a lot of endermen as well. I wonder if... Yeah, what's going on here?
Alrighty, hello everyone. Um, I found one. It's spinning around. That looks like a meteorite under there, so let's go and have a look. Um, hopefully it hasn't been looted. Skystone, okay. Let's, um, I guess just vein mine it. And we should find a chest somewhere in the middle. Um, assuming we can even see it. Is that it here? Skystone, Skystone. Mm, I'm not seeing anything yet. It's meant to be here. <laughs> Did I mine it? Oh, I'm still in creative mode. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was cleaning up that laggy base that we were at just before. There was a bunch of Endermen. And I had to pick up all the loot drops. Did I... There's no way I broke the chest that has it. No way. Oh, wait. I have an inscriber press. Look at this. Um, at... Okay. Did I get that? I think I got that on camera. I didn't cheat it in. I promise. Um... I can probably show you the recording. I'll, I'll speed up the recording so you can, so you can uh, see that. I'll, I'll time lapse it if I remember. Um, I assume we broke the chest and it dropped it or something. I don't really know. Um, let me try and breathe real quick. Oh, oh no, we we have water breathing because we have our helmet. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. I'm thinking what happened was maybe you just unlock it when you go in this area. I don't I don't know how we got it otherwise. Um, I'm also going to mine up this whole meteorite because if someone else comes looking, they'll see a meteorite, they'll get their hopes up, and then there won't be anything here. So I think this is like, I guess, what everyone else has been doing. You just sort of mine it up, clean it up, and then it's easier to find them in the future. All right, so <laughs> we have a silicon press. I think, what was the other one we needed? We needed a calculation press, I believe. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Okay. Um... At least we know we can find them. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we'll head out into the distance to try and grab another one. Alrighty, it is spinning around here. Um, but once again, I don't see one. So, I have a feeling that perhaps it was here and it got cleaned up. There is this, though. Has this been looted? No. So, maybe it hasn't. I'm a little bit confused now. Ruined Portal Explorer map. I guess we'll take it. Um, same with this one. Hmm, I don't... It's not down here, because it, they stand out, as you can see, like, um, at that last one we are at. They're big, black domes of, uh, I guess, meteorites. Um, oh, I feel like I hear a scary monster, so I'm actually just going to fly away, and, yeah, I'm going to keep looking, because I, I don't understand. It's spinning here, but I don't see it. Oh, here we go. This one looks to be intact, I don't... Well, I guess there's some cobble. I think the cobble's normal. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's uh, head in. We're in survival mode this time, so we won't break anything. Everything will be just as planned. And I don't really know... There's normally a chest right in the middle. So, like, if you find the middle, which is this right here, there's normally... Yeah, there's a chest. Okay. Please, no silicon. Okay, calculation press, engineering press. Perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. Um, I'm going to leave this here because obviously I've opened it, so it'll be easy to find. Um, is that all we needed? Engineering, calculation, silicon. Let's search for this creative um, energy cell. Um, calculation, silicon. And then what do these ones need? These guys don't actually need anything. They just need um, flux dust. Okay, we, we, can, we can do it. Let's do it. Let's head home. All right, first things first, we need an inscriber. And this actually needs Fluix crystals, not the pure ones. We can just use normal crystals. And you get these by dropping uh, charged Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz, and Redstone Dust into a puddle. Also, I might add, I left this on since the, I recorded the last episode. I left the mining uh, drill on. So, as you can see, all of these other drives are completely full. Um, I had to make a new... Well, I had to put the new one that we made in there. Um, which means... We have a lot of just about everything. We have too, we have too much stuff. But it means that I could just grab a stack of redstone, which we, you know, we struggled to do that. We struggled to have too much redstone. Um, so I am happy. And it is honestly perfect timing because I didn't plan to do this. Um, do we have charged Certus Quartz? Do we mine this? We do. Okay. And then we need Nether Quartz, which we don't have much of, but we turn that guy off. So I'll have to mess around with that later. Um, so now we need a puddle. I guess we can do it over here. Um, and I should probably take off my magnet boots. Also, let's put these maps away. 
They're annoying me. What's this? Common lost knowledge. Um, I might have gotten these from the Enderman that I killed. So I might get rid of them. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's um drop all of these. Um, oh, there they go. Look at them. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. So, it's making them all. Yep, and there we go. Now, I can probably just put my boots on to pick them all up. And we got two stacks. So, we put three different stacks in. So, the, the two different quartz and the redstone. And we got two stacks back. Um, so, that should be plenty to hopefully make this thing that we're going to make. Um, so, we need an inscriber. Um, bookmark this. Craft this. Wait, 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 hold on. What's going on here? Why is it saying I can paste it in, but none of this stuff is here? What is going on? Um, Fluix. Crystal. I can't take it out of the inventory. Is something broken? Like, is this overflowed again? It is. Okay. Um, why is it overflowed? Do I need to take something out? I don't know what's happened here. Um, yeah, I have no idea what's happening. Why isn't this going into the system? Okay, look. Now, now it seems to be going in. Okay. Um, can we get a stack upgrade? <laughs> because I think that would probably speed this guy along. Um, I'm going to order that stack upgrade and actually grab one out of here. Since we don't need it at the moment. Just to speed this along. Is that going to... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a lot better. Um, and once this is empty, we should be able to craft things again. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so all I did was just move the disc around. I don't know. Honestly, not a clue why that didn't work, but at least it's working now, I guess. Um, so let's get this inscriber. Hopefully it does things. It still isn't giving us sticky pistons. Do we have them? We do. Oh, and I can't take them out. Is this full again? No. What's the deal with my sticky pistons? Oh, I can take them out now. I have no idea why that happened. If you guys know, please do let me know, because that's very strange. Um, I think this guy just needs some power, so we might do the old slap it on the roof trick that we keep doing. Um, so I'll place it here. Did that connect? It did. In previous versions, there was an inscriber and then, like, an electric version, so... Now they've just got the one, I guess. Um, so we would like our presses. We want the silicon one. We would like the calculation one. Um, the calculation one just goes in with some certus quartz, I believe. Um, let's see if that's correct. <laughs> the answer is apparently no. Um, how do we make this? Oh, it needs to be a pure certus quartz. Okay. Um, we can apparently put certus quartz dust or the crystal in an enrichment chamber, which... Good sir, we have right here, so I can probably just do that. And then quickly grab it out. Nice, we've done it. We've achieved greatness. So here we go, let's slap this in here. Oh, slap that in this. And then that'll process and get it done. Perfect. Um, now for the silicon um, that we need, let's uh, get this guy bookmarked as well. Um, bookmark this, bookmark this and this. There we go. Um, yeah, we need printed silicon. We get this with a little bit of silicon, which we apparently get from just smelting quartz. That's also easy. Drop down here, um, place this guy here, quickly grab him out, boom, and we're in business. And I think that's borderline everything. What did these things cost again? They just need Fluix dust. So I should probably be crushing um, some of that Fluix we had. Uh, should I grab that real quick? Let's grab a stack, run over here, and I wonder... Hmm. The problem is it'll smelt, won't it? Do I have... I have a crusher in here, don't I? A crusher, yes. Is this going to work? It definitely is. Beautiful. Alrighty, so, um, silicon press. We can shove this in. That'll process. Um, I believe we need a redstone for the circuit. So we'll get that ready. I think we also need glass. So let me double check how we look in the glass department. Not the greatest. Let's, um... <laughs> Let's get a bunch more just just ready for us, right? Just processed. That should be good. Um, printed silicon. Boom. Then we want to combine all of these like that. So the calculation press, or the, sorry, the calculation circuit, the printed silicon, 
and the redstone dust will give us our calculation processor. Perfect. Um, then if we grab our dust, our fluix dust, um, from this guy, boom, boom, we should be able to... Oh, this needs to be quartz glass. Okay. So we're going to have to also crush some normal quartz. Hmm. You know what? In that case, it... Oh, well, this is processing. So no, that... I was going to just take off this um, uh, furnace upgrade and just let that crush a door thing. Hmm. You know what? We can upgrade this guy so easily. I'm just going to do it. Grab this guy. Pick him up. He should probably drop his upgrades too. Or does he keep the upgrades? He keeps the upgrades. Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to keep the upgrades in him when I upgrade him too. And we'll see if it if it holds it, right? So let's uh, request these to be crafted, which shouldn't take too long. Um, apparently it will. Mechanism. Here we go. A little bit laggy, apparently. Um, so these are done. Beautiful. Basic crushing factory. What's next on the list? Um, craft all this stuff. So I believe it's this and two of these advanced control circuits. Yep. Like so. What? No, am I wrong? Um, oh, it needs to be infused that way. Uh, and where'd the crusher just go? Boom. So there we go. That's that part done. What's next? Um, we don't have these as a... As a pattern? Really? I am shocked. Um, yeah. Let's, let's get some of these. Add that re recipe. Elite control circuit. There we go. Slap this in here. Okay. <laughs> Let's try again this time. Control click, get that crafted, clear the crafting table, and paste in this recipe. Ooh, we need some enforced alloy. Okay, what's going on here? These go like that, and we need another one of these. Thank you. And here it is. Beautiful. Elite crushing factory. Does this go again? It does. Can we make it? Um, I think we can. Do we? No, I don't think we have those recipes. Um, let's have a look if we can make them though. Ultimate control circuits. We can. Let's, let's do it. Let's just go all the way. I mean, <laughs> why not? Right. Um, slap this guy in here. Press U on this recipe. Control click to craft. There you go. It's now going to craft everything it needs. And we should be able to just paste it in. Let's search at mechanism. Um, so it's going to be two of these ultimates and then atomic alloys, I think. And this might take a little bit to craft because it's got to do a bunch of other stuff. Oh, here we go. It's almost done. So the uh, ultimate control circuits are done. Two of the atomic alloys are done. And we're just waiting on two more, I believe. Okay, so I actually requested two there because I don't think that it was crafting two more for whatever reason. I'm not 100% sure what that was about. But here we go. Boom. Ultimate crushing factory. It does not get better than this. Quite literally. Um... So this guy is going to go right there. Does he still have the speed upgrades? He does. Okay. Um, and now I should just be able to chuck the rest of these guys in. Click on auto sort. And I mean, there you have it. I don't, I don't know what else you want. It's doing it. It's doing the thing. <laughs> okay. So we're going to need eight of these energy cells, which means we need eight of these glasses, which is apparently really easy to make. We kind of went overboard on this. Um, so there we go. That's eight of those, which means that's eight of those, eight energy cells. Then we need to make a dense one, which we do like so. Beautiful. And then this guy, <laughs> apparently we slap into the empower and we leave it going. Now, what I want to test before we do this is, will I be able to use this to power other things. Um, and we can test this with, I think the energy cell over here, right? Yeah, so this guy's full of power. Let's also destroy this cable. All right, so I'm going to place it down. He here's how it looks. It looks beautiful. Um, what happens if I place this? Okay, it doesn't connect. Now, if we do at applied and search energy, we have a few things. We have an energy acceptor and then all these things. Hmm, I'm starting to think that this energy cell is the equivalent of um, the controller in terms of it just provides power to the system. I think. I don't know if you can... Because, like, this doesn't connect, right? This doesn't connect. 
Um, the plug doesn't connect. You know what? I will make the energy acceptor. Just because I'm really... <laughs> I want to see if you can somehow pull power out. That, that's all I want. <laughs> that's truly all I want. Um, so we're going to place it here. And then see... I mean, this connects, right? Which is expected. Because you're meant to be able to put power into the system. But does the plug connect? The plug does. Hmm. Okay. Let's now pick up this guy. Right? Place him here. So that should connect. That should put power in the system, I think. Let's see the sign config. They're all on input, so I want to put them all on output. Right? So now the power's escaping from this and going into the system. We, we can see if we can speed this up a bit. Oh. Okay. So now let's clear all these. So as you can see, we have 1.18 MFE. And this is currently what the system is. Um, I don't think it's working. I don't, right? I don't think it's going to work, but we'll try. What happens if we now open this guy and set them all to inputs? Does that do anything? <laughs> no. No, I don't think it does. Ah, why can't the acceptor also be a opposite of an acceptor? All right. I, I have tried a bunch of things, um, as you can see, just to try and, try and like find a loophole to get power out of it. But, um... No, I think it just powers the network, much like how the uh, the controller for um, Refined does it. Um, which makes sense, right? Because this controller costs the exact same amount of energy. Um, yeah, but, but sadly, I couldn't figure out a way to get the power out. I tried a bunch of things. I tried a bunch of things, okay? I did try. Um, so, I mean, it was kind of a waste of time. Kind of. <laughs> Maybe. Um... There is some other things I would like to do, though. Alright, so another thing we can do is uh, just do one last check on this B thing. And we can get the, the B Pedia. I also want to make the Erodium Void Miner. So, we'll try and do that this episode as well. I just want to test this out. We have a lot of honeycombs, as you can see. So, we can actually start doing some things. Sadly, how do we only have five Ender ones? What's going on here? Oh, am I allowed in? The... What's happening with the Ender Ones? Are they not able to generate it for some reason? We might remove this purple block. See if that helps somehow. Um, yeah, I don't really understand. It should be fine. But how do we have so much of these other honeycombs and five Ender Ones? That, that doesn't really add up. Um, I'm going to try and get a, a bottle of honey so we can make this Bpedia thing. Um, so I think I need to get a bottle. Alrighty, and sure enough, we have the honey bottle. So let's make ourselves a Bpedia. Nice and easy. Put that away. How does this guy work? So you can right click and I guess you can see every single bee that exists. Bees found 0 out of 45. I guess we should have made this earlier. Okay, traits, honey. So we want to click on Ender B, right? This is what we've got. The flower is a purple block. We do have that. Um, info, traits, Ender, honeycomb. Okay, so you can use shears on them and get all this stuff out. Okay. Spawning. Yep. Breeding. Yep. I wonder if the bees that I spawned, if they are real. Like, maybe I did find a loophole, but they also knew about it, and so they patched it. Or the problem could be that there's too many, and not a single one can, like, get enough pollen. I think that's... That makes more sense, doesn't it? So let's... Let's just get some jars. Pick up a few of these. Probably... Probably a lot of them, to be honest. But we also have a lot of glowing. You, actually, yeah. You know what? That makes perfect sense. Because look at the honey. We... Actually, no, we do have 100. But, like, we have 141 mason honeycombs. We have a single one. A single one mason bee. So, I think that is the problem. I think four looks like a good amount at the moment. So, let's... We'll keep the four there. I'm hoping this works. Here, let's pick up... 
these. What do they do if there's just one? He just sort of spins around. Hmm. Why do they all like that particular purple block? You're like, what? Yeah, I think that's fine. May I don't know. We'll leave two. <laughs> Look at how many we have. That is ridiculous. Um, yeah, we'll leave that how it is. And we'll check in tomorrow and see how many we've got. Because the ender bees are the only ones we have at the moment. They give us beeswax. That's why we want them. Alright, so next up, the Erodium Void Miner. So let's search Environmental. We need to make this guy. Um, so I think we set up some of the stuff. Yeah, we set up the structure frames last episode. Let's see if we can get this Void Miner. Because, as well, let's craft that. Um, we're going to need a the original Void Miner too. This guy. Hmm. Let me, let me set up some auto crafting. Um, overnight, check out this. 172 erodium crystals. How beautiful is that? Um, let's set up the crafting for this thing. So we need laser diodes. Laser core and structure. I feel like we have some of this stuff. So I'm very confused. Laser diode. Let me double check. You know what? I just sorted this diamond crafter on the right here. Like I middle clicked on my mouse to sort it. And I feel like I just broke the server. Oh, no, we're, we're back. Um, I'm going to pretend that I didn't, and we're going to continue. Um, but yeah, have a look here. The laser core is here, and the laser lens holder, and yet, like, for some reason, it says that it doesn't exist. Um, I don't, however, see this um, laser diode, so we will add that recipe in. Just double check, yeah. Yeah, I don't see it there. Okay. So, that should be fine. Um, the structure panels, we do have. I'm almost certain. Um, structure... Structure panel. Yeah, crafted. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's a bit weird. Alrighty, we'll add the recipe for this guy right there. Then we should now be able to... Um, oop, 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 oop. At environmental... Oop, two E's. No, environ... Oop, yep, bop, yep. We're getting there. <laughs> ah, craft... Oh, no, what? Craft one of these. Beautiful. Give me. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Okay, we've got one of these, which means I should now be able to get one of these... No? Am I not allowed? Ah, uh, you know what? These were probably used in the uh, other recipe. So here we go. Erodium Void Miner. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, this guy requires some things. Starting off with 16 panels. So where are the panels located? Structure panels. I would like 16. Thank you. Let's click craft and hope they show up. 16? Nice. Easy. Okay, what, what's next? What's next? Um, four modifiers. So, where are our modifiers? I would like four null modifiers. They are done as well. Beautiful. Um, oh, 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 oh. where am I looking? Um, three laser cores. I'm sure we can arrange for those, good sir. What's next? Um, 28 frames. And they've got to be these erodium structure frames, tier two. 28? Is that what it was? I've already forgotten. Um, but we're going to order 28. So, hopefully. Yep, we were right. 28. Um, so let's also grab the laser cores out. The 28 structure frames, they crafted instantly. That is awesome. Um, one laser lens holder. Laser lens holder, coming right up. And then the IO blocks. Um, so we're going to want an item output. So craft one of these. And then we're going to want, um, the power inputs. Um, yeah, I'm going to get two more of these power inputs. So we're going to have three power inputs one item output, and I think that's good. And then that should be everything, right? I think so. We just need to grab the laser lens holder, and then a lens. Beautiful. And I think what we should probably do is color these to be the, um, the right color. So, for instance, this guy that we're just making should be purple. So, here, let's put that in there. I would like a purple one. And that'll be for the erodium, because it's sort of like a purple. Um, this guy up here is green. So how about we take this lens out and make it green? How does that sound? I think it sounds good. Um, make you... Boom, 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 boom. Um, what color is this? It's kind of a dark green, isn't it? We'll go with dark green. Here we go. Dark green. And, and all this does, as far as I'm aware, is just change the color of this... Uh, 
this beam of light. Did I just... I right-clicked... Wait, what, what is happening? Okay, I've got it. Here we go. Place it in there. Boom. That will, should change to green at some point. Um, now, as for this new guy that we're making, I don't know how big he's going to be, but I kind of want him to look similar to this in the terms of, like, it's just sort of floating. You know what I mean? So, I reckon we do that over here. Can we get um, scaffolding? Um, yes, here we go. This is a beautiful block. I'm going to grab one of these, fly up here, right-click, and it places it in midair. How cool is that? And that's from Cyclic. A beautiful, beautiful mod. It's dirt and sticks. So you can do that pretty much early game. Then what we're going to do is grab the Erodium Void Miner, right-click it like so, and it will replace the scaffold. Even cooler. And then what we'll do is... Wait... How's it directed on this? Do I need to... I need to do it the other way. <laughs> okay. So we're going to need that scaffold back. But um, I think you get the point. All right. Here we go. Um, this time, place it underneath. Beautiful. Then we're going to simply right-click on it while we're hovering. Go on the top left. Click clear and build multi-block. And it will make sure the area is clear. Then pull the items out of my inventory and craft the tier 2 void miner, which... Should be bigger than that guy. Right? Is this it? I think that's it. I, I, th I think this is how it looks. Um, where's the lens? The lens is there. So let's put in our purple lens. Nice. Um, now it needs power. And it needs a chest. You know what we'll do as well? Let's... um. Should we make them all sort of symmetrical? I feel like I should put the chest on the front as well. On both of these. So, item output there. Um, we can put this power output back there. Let's fix this guy up as well. So, we'll just break this. Break this. Break this. Break that. Break this. Break that. Hopefully, we pick it all up. Power input there. Um, power cables like so. Then, the item output here. And the ender chest like so. Perfect. That should be still working. Then, up here, we... Pretty much going to do a similar thing. We're just going to run the power like so. Boom, boom, boom. Um, hmm. You know what I wonder? I wonder if you could put a solar panel, like, up in the middle. Like, would the beam go through it? I don't think it would. But, I mean, it goes through that block. Because if you could slap a solar... Should we try it? You know what? I think I'm going to try it. Um, how to turn on catalyst pylons? I'm not too sure. I don't really know what that means. Um, okay, let's clear our hotbar. Why don't these stack? Energy cables. Interesting. Um, here, let, let's pick this guy up completely. Right? Boom, 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 boom. This is going to be awesome. If it works. If it works, this is, like, flawless. Um, yeah, we'll pick up this one. So, pick up this. Pick up this. Okay. I'm going to place the solar panel right there. Hopefully, the beam still goes through. I I have my doubts, but I still think it'll be awesome if it works. Okay, build multi-block. So, it's building it. Like so. Um, one block didn't make it. We can do that manually. So, there we go. I, I do. I think it's working. This is actually insane if it works, because this looks... I mean, it, it doesn't look beautiful, but it looks better than the alternative. Um, oh, that's the item block. Okay, let's place the chest here. Um, we can break this. Place these like so. Place these like so. And we can check the power by right-clicking here. Oh, it, it's currently empty. Um, hmm. I think it's working, though. Like, I think it's just not generating enough power. I think that's the only problem. Right? Oh, and it's also now rainy. Let's... Here, let's sleep and make it day and see if that helps. Alright, um... I don't know how to skip the daytime when it's, um, rainy, so... Uh, hopefully it ends soon. But anyway, we're going to be making a... A rhodium solar as well, just because I want to, right? <laughs> um, now, this guy we can make quite easily. Um, do we have none of these? We don't have any of these recipes. Okay. Let's add this recipe. Let's double check as well. Uh, environmental. Um, no, we've only got the solar one. Um, 
So, so that's fine. That, that's pretty good, actually. So we're going to need these solar cells auto-crafted too, which is fine. We're going to need these wafers, right? We're going to need these uh, bulls. And then that's all that crafted. And then I think that's about it. Because if you look here, we just use the same blocks as the other one. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. IO block or frame tier two. Okay. So I think what that means is um, output. Yeah, it means you can use the outputs or you can use a frame tier two. That makes sense. Um, so this should be everything. If we put all this in, I should now be able to craft at, oh, at environmental. I should be able to say one solar, please. And it will craft it with all the resources. I don't know if we have enough crystals, but we're going to find out. Um, so we'll place that there. Then this guy needs 25 solar cells. Do we have enough? No. Oh, yeah. okay. We don't have enough. That's good to know. Um, what else do we need there? We might be able to do the other stuff now. Um, frames. We need. Actually, I just realized 25 solar cells. Do you know what that means? So, that guy over there, that solar panel, has nine solar cells. This guy sounds like he's a, a little bit bigger. <laughs> um, okay. And how many frames? 24 frames. Um, we can probably do those. Structure frame, 24. Um, yeah, we can do that. It uses 48 of these crystals, but we can do it. Um, 24. So, that'll craft. We might as well have everything ready. You know what I mean? Um, modifier. Let's get four of these. Boom. Um, and then the outputs. So we can probably just get um, four FE outputs for this solar panel. Boom. Beautiful. Um, so we have everything except for the solar cells. Um, the solar cells will require how many? Just so I have the target. Um, available 36, missing 103. So we need what? 139 total? of this 139 we, we've got a bit of a task ahead of us um i've switched out the end chest for a chest because the beacon is still up and i'm curious as to whether it's gonna show up um i'm also oh look at this there is a little bit of power in this guy i'm very confused i'm gonna be honest with you hmm Okay, so it works. Now, now, don't get too excited. I did set up a flux point, but I just wanted to guarantee that it does work with the solar cell above it. If that's the case, then there's no reason for this system not to work. Let's see how much it uses. Okay, so, so this miner uses 1,700 RF per tick, right? And we know that one of these guys, or at least in the last episode that we tested this guy out, the solar panel... He makes 350, roughly, right? So if we do some math, which I'm probably going to need a calculator for this because I'm not, not the quickest on my feet. I think we would need roughly six of them, right? And we can definitely do that. Um, hmm. Should we try and do that? I think we should. I, I, I feel like this can be really cool. And I want it to be really cool. Um, so what we're going to do is, we know this works now, so we can replace this with the ender chest. Um, we, we don't have to worry about that. What I'm going to do instead is, um, well, it, I guess here's my issue. How do we want to set these up? Like, do I want to do nine? Is that what I want to do? We only need six, but I definitely could do nine. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's um let's craft what we need, right? So we need five more of these. Let's see just how hard this is. Um, okay, five of these are being crafted. Um, oh, the, there is a lot of stuff we need. Um, okay, let's do some math here. We need forty-five solar cells. Can we do that? We oh we only need ender pearls. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, don't get me wrong. We don't have a lot of ender pearls to throw around, but hey, I'm, I'm not going to pass this up. How much nebula things do we have? We have five. Um, I'm going to use them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Solar cell. Um, oh, what just happened? 
Here we go. Oh, one E. No, we don't want one E. We want 45. Here we go. Start the craft. Beautiful. What is next? What is next? We need... Um, oh, the frames are going to be so expensive, aren't they? All right, we need, <laughs> assuming my math is correct, 80 frames. Um, so if we search up the frames, we need, <laughs> well, 80 of them. Um, okay, we're only missing the quartz and the ender pearls. We have the lithorite cells. This is actually really cool. Um, I'm going to try and do this. Uh, this episode might be a long one because I'm, I'm excited. Uh, okay, what, where do I need to go? Um, first trip is to the nether. Because we need to set up the power for the nether quarry to get us some quartz. Um, so let's slap this guy down. Boom. You're back. You're powered again. You should be good to go. Um, okay. Let's head home. Turn this guy on and I guess do that. Okay. Beautiful. Um, next up are the ender pearls. So we're probably just going to go into the end and uh, chop up some endermen for this. I feel like that's probably the best idea. Um, you know what? I still don't have looting. Do we... Oh, the transmitter's not in range. Let's go home. Because there might be something else we can do real quick. Um, let's search looting. Um, let's do hashtag looting. Um, looting 2. Okay. We're going to try and disenchant this stone sword. With, believe it or not, a disenchanter. I assume we'll go for the cyclic one. The book of disenchantment. I do know of this. You know what? This is actually an easier way to do it. Right click on the grave someone channel. Actually, no. I think you need a grave for this. Um, so we'll probably just go for this. So we need an enchantment table. So we need a book. Luckily, we have a bunch of leather from when we had the cows. <laughs> Enchanting table. Disenchanter. Bada bing. Um, here's our enchantment table over here. I guess we should place this here. And the grinder can go over there. Um, I don't know how this works. He needs power. Of course he needs power. Um, I'm not going to waste a flux point on that. I'm just going to set him up. I don't know. On the roof or something. Um, yeah. <laughs> there we go. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Let me double check I'm recording. Okay, good. We're, we're lucky. We're lucky. Um, so do I... Okay, we need books. That makes sense. So I'm going to get two books. One, two, and I'm going to slap him in here, and then I'm going to place in the stone sword. <laughs> um, requires redstone. Always on. Okay. How did it get knockback? And, okay, got looting. There wasn't knockback on this sword, though, was there? Okay, we have looting. Do I want to put ender on? What does ender do? We can search hashtag ender. Here we go. Um, ender, where is it? Ender here. Um, throws an ender pearl with your sword, consuming durability. Wow. Okay, I mean, we don't need that, so I guess we'll leave that for now, but I guess that's pretty cool. So put that away. We'll keep the looting. Um, is that all we need? I guess I could search for, um, sh well, we don't really need sharpness, do we? Um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's, I guess that's fine. Um, what else do we need? How do I put stuff into stuff? Can I do that with this guy? I don't think you can. You can't... No, you can't do that. You need an anvil, don't you? Anvil. Um, looks like we're going to have to make one. But that should be fine. We have a, a, way too much iron, if I'm completely honest. Place this here. Um, our sword with looting. Adds looting to the sword, believe it or not. And we're good to go. Time to farm some enderpearls. Honestly, this is a very successful trip. Um, we have a stack of emeralds already. We have the enderpearl fragments. And... I don't think we needed too much, so I think we're probably pretty much good to go. Oh my god, we can craft the 80 frames. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do it. Um, okay, at environmental. This is ridiculous. We can do the thing. So, the solar cells, the frames. Ooh, if it lets me take them. Oh my god, we have so many. Okay, that's fine. The solars, obviously. Um, we have a bunch of stuff here that we can put away, <laughs> because we definitely do not need it all. Um, what's left? The modifiers and the, uh, outputs. Okay. So I think what we need is 16 more of these. 16. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to need more Ender Pearls. That's fine. Um, 16 of those and 20 modifiers. Unless we have some already. Which we do. Um, so 20 modifiers. Um, 16, sorry. <laughs> um, do these need Ender Pearls too? I don't think so. Okay. The modifiers are done. Um, all I need is a few more Ender Pearls. Like, literally just, like, five more, I think it is. And you know what I just realized? Um, not only did we just get a nebulous heart, which which is awesome, but we have these fragments. Um, so we actually have a lot of ender pearls. Right? Boom. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we're good. Um, so let's get the modifiers out. All 16 of them, or so that we have 20 total. Um, then we need the outputs. And we need 16 of these. Boom, boom. Craft them. And we're, we're good to go. I don't know what formation we're going to put these in to make them look good. That That's my only problem, <laughs> how to make them look good. Um, because obviously, like, what, we do a row of six? I don't, I don't know how to do it. Let me try and think this through. All right, so hear me out. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we... Oh, if it lets me place it, which it might not. Eh. I'm thinking we do, like, um, rows of three. Like, we do three diagonal, three diagonal. Is that going to look weird, or is that going to look all right? I don't really know. Oh, we could also... Yeah, okay, okay, I, I know what we're doing. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. So I think placing it like this will look good. Let's give this a try. Let's um clear and build. So it should destroy the dirt and place all the stuff it needs. Right? Like so. Um, we'll clear these little bits here. So this is what it looks like. Is that a good distance? And then what we can do is we can get rid of these um, cables here and place them along the side like that. And does that look a little bit better? I think it does. I think it does. Um, yeah. So I'm going to set these up. Um, I'll set up the frames and then we'll build them all on camera. How does that sound? You know what? The question is, do I want a gap in the middle? I don't. No, particularly if I do. I think this is fine. So what's this? A gap of one, two, three, four? There we go. I think it's actually just a gap of three, right? Um, so a gap of two on this side, and then gaps of three... No, not a gap of two. A gap of one, two, three... Yeah, a gap of three. Perfect. All right, guys. So this is how it is currently set up. And I think what will happen is if I click Build Multi-Block... This will be set up perfectly. And as you can see, it looks like it is. And then all we have to do now is set up um, three of these. No, mm, two. Yeah, I think just two. And what should happen is it should be lined up perfectly that they all connect when it's built. And this should be enough power to power this one um, void miner. Just self-sufficiently, I guess only during the day. Um, so it might not be a good idea, but... Ooh, these were not spaced out correctly. Okay, okay. All right, I think it's good now. So let's uh, give this a shot. Build multi-block. And it will build. And they're perfectly connected with the cables and everything. Ooh, actually, I don't know if this cabling connection works like that. You know what I mean? I don't... Do the, does they send power to each other? I don't think they do. I'm going to have to... Mm, yeah, I'm going to have to rewire this completely differently. In which case, we might want to have a gap in between. You know what? Yeah, that, I think that is what we want to do. And I think it's a good thing that we tested this. So let's break the multi-block. It should tear itself apart, I think. Nope, did it not want to do it? Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll just tear it apart ourselves. Oh, nope, there it goes. Oh, it just took a little while, I guess. So we'll break all this. Um, and yeah, we want another gap. So, so I think now if I place it here, um, and we go over here and we click build and it builds it, there should be a gap along the middle that we can now like, um, you know, run a line through and it won't look as bad. Um, hmm. How does that look? That doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay. <laughs> Test number, like, 20. Let's, uh, build this guy. Here it goes. The gap doesn't look too bad. Build this guy. 
Boom. That should be good. Build this guy. Oh, boom. No, I was in the way, I think. Let's try again. There we go. Not in the way this time. And it has been built. And then we just connect the cables. And run them. In. Uh, we're going to need to make more cables, which I think is a problem. Because I don't think we have more cables. Um, I guess we're about to find out. Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't actually look like we do. So... I'm going to need to process a lot more diamonds in this system, which I think I can automate. So I might automate them to happen. Okay, while we're at it, I need an ender chest, and I think our best bet is to have them auto-crafted, because I'm sick and tired of doing this myself. So we're going to place this in here, get rid of the wool, and make it the wool that we use, which is this. So this recipe, check. Um, we're also going to need the recipe for the ender pouch, check. Um, and can we get a recipe for wool? I don't know how we're doing on the string department. Um, we don't have it on exact, so it should use any type of string. So that, that shouldn't be a worry that it's got the flax there. But this should work now, right? I should be able to search for ender chest. Ask for one. Um, blaze rods, I can put these in. And craft it? In theory? Yes. Beautiful. And then what I want to do is ask for it to be kept at all times. Now, it likely won't do this yet because um, we don't have enough blaze rods, but once we get blaze rods under control, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, we also need a diamond to make this guy, you know, into this mode. Boom, private. Beautiful. Um, also, the niotics should be going pretty good. I think what we want are two capacitors. Or I guess one. Because um, obviously we want to make these cables. And yeah, they use one each. And we should have enough to make... Boom. And... Oh, boom. Beautiful. 24 cables. Hopefully that's enough. It might not be. Um, let's also set this guy up. So that's the power. That can go there. Um, you know what? I'd prefer to set this guy up properly. Before setting up um, the other guy properly. Right? Because this guy's going to get us more. So set up this. So that should be hooked up. This guy uses... It looks like 3,000 RF a tick. Assuming he actually turns on. Actually, we need one more bit, don't we? We need the um, program... The the memory. Memory. Boom, boom, boom. We need flash memory. We, oh, this is such an annoying thing to make. Craft this. Get one of these. Volatile memory. Is that what we've put in this? Or is it flash memory? It is flash memory. Okay. Flash memory requires all of this stuff to be crafted. And boom. Flash memory. Perfect. Then we want to go here into our memory programmer. Place in this guy. Scroll down to multi miners. Click on crystal miner. Then it should put it in there. Although it needs power. Of course it needs power. <sighs> okay. Let's, let's just move these. All right. We have arrived at the trusty roof. So let's set these guys up. Um, let's do this again. Multi-miner, crystal miner. And it should put it in, which it looks like it's doing. Wait for this to happen. Bada bing, bada boom. Go run over here and slap this guy in. And we should now see a beautiful laser show up. A beacon to the skies. Yep, there it is. And slow... Ooh. I think that's from the nether. Um, but yeah, we should be getting stuff now, which is awesome. i got to remember to turn that nether guy off. Um... Let's hook this guy up. It, I don't think we have enough. I think we're a bit short. Um, boom. Oh, boom. The hover on these jetpacks aren't the greatest. I'm going to be real. Then It's just slightly not good enough. Like, look at this. I'm slowly just falling around everywhere. Boom, boom. Oh, we do have enough. Okay. These guys should be draining now of their power. From those sides. This guy should be getting enough power. This side's full. 1000 RF. This side isn't full. But as you can see in the top left. It is charging. So it's got more RF than it's using. I think. Okay. Let's um look down here. This guy isn't full though. Ooh. He's getting there though. Oh. No. no he lost it. Oh. He's got it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, Huh. I think it's working. Okay, I think 
I think we're good. Right? How will I know? Should I replace this with a chest? I think we should. Just to double check that it works. But I think it's working. Is this going to keep going up? It is. Okay, we're good. So during the day, this guy will work. Let's um, switch it up. Oh, look. I think we already got a lithrite crystal. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I, 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 I'm, I'm pleased. Um, this guy should be working too. Um, let's switch this guy out for a chest. Just to double check. See what we're dealing with. Um, this guy should be faster. In theory. Um, assuming... Oh, yep. It's lit up. So it's got enough power. Tick cost is 2,000. We should get lithrite crystal. We should get erodium crystal. And we should also get, if I search crystal, um, we should get, I assume, cryonite? Yeah, this is for tier 3, so we should get this stuff. How much does this use? The solar cell, can we find this? I feel like that's a good scale. 49 solar cells. <laughs> okay, alright. Um, so far, though, nothing. So, I don't know. Alright, well, I think the game just crashed. Um, but... I feel like that's a pretty good point to wrap up. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. It helps on my channel quite a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm not too sure what we'll do in the next video. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.